What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Mike's Tool Shed. This episode is about this cool ass thing here. I was really excited to get this. This is one of the coolest, coolest ideas I've ever seen in in tools. Uh, this is an advent calendar. If you if you don't know what that is, that is uh, it's a Christmas tradition. You would buy this for a little kid, and every day, count down to Christmas, he he or she would get to open up one of these little doors, and there'd be a little piece of candy in there or something. And so they could get excited and, and ramp up to Christmas. Well, this is the same concept, but you end up with a badass little German toolkit at the end. And uh, me being an adult, I bought this for myself, and I ripped through the whole thing. Actually, I filmed a video about this before, but it didn't really turn out that great of me opening every little door. Um, I couldn't find them. The numbers aren't really in order, and I couldn't find them. And uh, I just had like a pile of bits and tools on the, on the bench like I, this is going to be a better version i put it all in the case you don't need to see me open up every freaking door so on the packaging you got a nice painting of santa working on the sled with some german tools he's got some he's got the zyklop ratchet um you know he's got some other kit here the deer waiting for him to get done so they can get this show on the road uh, you'd think that he would have uh, like a sled tech elf, at least a little crew that work on the sled. Maybe he's out in the field. He's he's roadside. He's he's an emergency repairer right now. So, <laughs> regardless of the packaging, it wasn't. It was a cool portion of this, but I really like this little toolkit. So it comes in this little nylon soft pouch, like a lot of their other stuff does, and it has Velcro on the back, and it also comes with. This piece of Velcro, sticky Velcro, you can put on whatever and then stick this right on. So day one, the biggest door is the pouch. So you get the pouch first and then you get to add all the bits to it throughout the month. Mm. So let's get into it. You have a nice long Velcro there. It folds open to expose all of the bits. And it's got these little side bolsters here, which this is the first soft case kit of uh, from Vera that I've bought and I'm actually really impressed the way that it fits if you look that stuff's not coming out that's not to say that any of this is gonna fall out it's all in here really secure but they have even had these little side bolsters these little flaps and when you do close it <clears throat> something could come loose and it's not coming out so it's a really nice little case they do really well with their packaging so the long and short of it is a little basic household bit set and uh, I really think this would be good for an RC car or any kind of RC enthusiast because it uh, it covers a lot of the stuff that you're going to deal with on anything radio controlled or small uh, some small type hobbies like that. You have your uh, here we have two Phillips one and two two Posi drive which I'm not a real big fan of I don't see it a whole lot but they're in there one and two Posi drive uh, one big uh, flat blade. And then you have Torx uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. And then you have two hex bits, 4 and a 5, which are that have that feature, uh, that signature feature that uh, Vera has where it's like kind of concave and it's uh, supposed to grip better. Uh, German Tour Reviews, he actually showed me this first on one of his videos. Actually, if you want to see a way better video than this, just stop and go look at his video. This is just... <laughs> this is just my take on it, but he has a really good detailed video on this. Um, he he speaks very highly of their uh, their Allen bits, which I have not used at all. And then you have this this little quarter inch hex to quarter inch socket adapter, which will come into play the farther along we get here. And then you have socket set. Um, there's all your sizes. They're all color coded, and these are the first Vera sockets that I've had or ever owned, and uh, I like them. I like the the matte finish, the color coding, and they have this knurling on the end there, which you know you 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 finger tighten and loosen sockets all the time, so that's going to help with that. Uh, the little storage solution for that is this little quarter turn, not even quarter turn. It's like an eighth of a turn. See, it goes on freely to the the square shank, and then that's it and the design of that little twist that is on there now it is plastic and you could rip it off but I mean that's they're on there good just that little that little twist and they're secure so those are the sizes you get for 
8, 10, and 13. Like I said, this is a pretty well-rounded, little well-rounded small tool set. Um, then you have this little bit here is really cool. This is a um, quarter inch socket on one end and then quarter inch hex on the other and it's just like an L key. So you need a little bit of torque on the end there. There you have it. Now if you want even more torque, you use it in conjunction with this bit holder. And how this bit holder works, it's a locking bit holder. It's their craft form uh, style handle, their signature style. And all you gotta do is when you push the sock, the uh, bit in there, rather, it locks in. And then you push it forward, and it slides right out. On top of it locking in, it actually is magnetic too. So it's, so you pull it in there. So it's got a little magnet at the bottom, and then you give it another little push, and the collar slides back. Holds everything in there really good. If you want to get more torque, use it with this and that little that hex shank, which is kind of interesting. It must have some kind of bearing system in here to hold the uh, bits in, but that's got no features on it at all. That's a smooth shank, but this handle holds it in there secure. It will not come out. So if you really want some good torque, there you go. You don't really necessarily need a ratchet. This is going to be like a glove box, uh, kitchen junk drawer kind of tool set. So you have the bit holder and you can put any of those, um, you can put any of these bits in there obviously and you can put this in there. And then lastly the uh, other really cool part, this is why I said like kitchen junk drawer kind of uh, tool set, is you have this precision driver bit holder same kind of style of their precision uh, bit, uh, their precision screwdrivers. I like all of them. You get the little spinny end, you get the little handle, and then it has a the, the small shank. I'm not exactly sure what size that is, but then you have a full set of precision bits, and these are magnetic and they fit in there nice and tight. And I'll show you those bits here. You have, uh, I think this is a zero Phillips double zero. Uh, a really small flat head. I don't know the specs on that right off the top of my head. You have an even smaller one that would be good for eyeglasses, watches. Um, and then you have two Torx, a T5 and a T6, I believe. And then you have two, or these are the two Allens. And then you have two Torx. And these are kind of out of order. Torx, Allen, Torx, Allen. That's how they are. So that's going to be good for your cell phones, your computer work laptop work, any kind of things, any kind of thing like that. So that's why I said this is a great uh, kitchen junk drawer kit because when it's all folded up, it takes up like very little space for all of the stuff that you can do with this. Um, also, I think this would be a great gift for, this is perfect for a little kid that is just starting to get interested in tools and tinkering and, you know, the kid that takes all his toys apart like uh, like me. I think it, at least every year for Christmas, I took one brand new toy apart and could not get it back together, and my father was furious. So he 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 got wise to it, and he started like watching me, making sure I wasn't taking apart my brand new shit. So <laughs> if you got a kid like that, like if I had a kid that was like six, seven, this is a great little first tool kit. This is um this is on KC Tools for I think sixty eight dollars. It's over $50, so you get free shipping on it. But uh, great for somebody that doesn't have a lot of tools or has a hobby that involves smaller bits and tools. Uh, like I said, RC car, uh, a little kid giving him his first little tool set. You know, 70 bucks might be kind of steep for that, but, you know, it may, be not, it may be not too steep for a lot of people. So I like it a lot. It's a badass little tool kit. It's the first Vera kit that I've ever bought like this. And uh, I got my eye on a couple others farther down the road. Not anything immediate. But uh, just the whole concept of it. It's in a calendar. You open the little doors. You pull out the bits. You add to it. Um, if it wasn't for me making a video on this, I, I would have legitimately like pulled every bit out every day. You know, I think it was a cool idea. But I wanted to pull the whole thing out and show everybody. So... That's it. I'll put a link in the description, at least to KC Tools. And uh, I know this is the second, I believe this is the second year they've done this. As far as I can tell, 2016 was the first one. So 
you know, maybe it could be a tradition. You, every year you get some uh, little kid, little family member, her uh, son or daughter, a little badass German toolkit. <laughs> Turns into a tr tradition. It's like got a sentimental value. It's fun to open all the things. I like this idea a lot. I think it's really cool. And this is a really cool company for doing this. I like all the shit they do. So that's it. The Vera, Vera, whatever. Advent calendar. I give it uh, two thumbs up. And I like it a lot. So that's it. Thanks for watching.